Clear Obscure Expedition 33 just received new update where it supports FSR 4. Sadly, Steam Deck does not support FSR 4, but I'm still curious how to perform. First, let's go to the settings and make sure we do have FSR. And we have DLSS, that's a mode DLSS from Decloder. Let me show you. If you click here, uh, the keyframe gen. And as you can see, the keyframe gen will give you DLSS. And you will have proper scaling. And it feels like DLSS, to be honest, in my opinion. Once your deck frame gen is installed from the Loader, you will need to go to properties of your desired game. In the general, scroll a little bit down and in launch option, enter Steam Deck equals zero. And then, as you can see, there is FG mode slash FG mode. Steam Deck equals zero will switch on your graphic settings in Clear Obscure Expedition 33. For some reason, these settings are hidden from us on Steam Deck only, I believe. And the second command will give you DLSS and DLSS frame gen. And it feels definitely like DLSS frame gen, in my opinion. For Clear Obscure, just copy everything after me. And we're using Proton Experimental. As you can see, now we have all possible upscalers on our choice. And we're going to test right now FSR, balanced, and lowest possible settings. Okay, now I can see why this game is actually verified. It is kind of playable, 30 FPS here. This is quite demanding scene, lots of fog, lots of reflections, shadows. And uh, I'm kind of liking this experience. 30 plus FPS in this type of games is absolutely fine. And the most important part that FSR was implemented quite well. Game doesn't look like potato, graphics is not destroyed, no shimmering. With 30 plus FPS, it is very, very stable FPS. No stutters, no lags. And uh, as you can see, let's, let's switch to other character. As, as you can see, CL, she's, yeah, I can totally recognize her, her hairs. Everything is sharp and nice. Wow, well done. They actually implemented FSR 3.1, I believe, right now. Very well. This studio scaffold just can't stop winning. Nine awards, best game of the year, 10 million budget, best selling game. A first ever game, it is just crazy. And free DLC right now. FSR fully optimized, as you can see. They literally show to everyone how it should be done. And now let's drop FSR to performance, lowest possible settings, 800p, 15 watts CDP still. We're somewhere around mid 30 FPS, 35, 34. It is more shimmery. And I would prefer to play at FSR balance, to be honest, because a little bit of distortion on the stairs, you could just saw for a second, and here is it's less stable image, as you can see. So FSR balanced all the way to go, in my opinion. But this is still very, very playable. And this is very surprising. This game getting more and more optimized. And finally, we can take Steam Deck somewhere on the flight, on the bus with you, and play a little bit of Claire Obscure which is just so much win in my opinion. If you would look around the hairs, you will see a small ghosting. This is a facade, it's a little bit failing, but it's not that bad like in any other game, to be honest, like Oblivion. This is the only problem I noticed while using a facade. And now let's try the LSS balance, no frame generation yet, lowest possible settings, 800p. Remember, this is modded DLSS, technically it's not DLSS. And we are getting 37, 38, so we're getting more FPS than FSR. And picture is way more stable. Like there's no trail anymore, no ghosting. And look at that, very stable image. And we're getting more FPS. That's so much win. It is way smoother right now, I can definitely tell. So FSR, second place, this DLSS, first place for Clara Obscure. So we gain 42 FPS. Whoa, we can use frame gen when you're getting like 40 FPS. And I wonder during the switching characters, will it drop FPS at yep, 31, 39? It kind of drops a little bit more, but this is to be expected, to be honest. Don't worry, I will check area outside as well. I choose this area for the beginning so we could see how much FPS we're getting. And DLSS, in my opinion, doing slightly better job. Let's go to DLSS performance. I'm very curious to see, will it give us even more FPS? And look at that, we went to 43 FPS, 41. We had like 35, 31, and now 44 even. Okay, we can utilize frame gen. 
and game looks still very good. I can totally play it like this. And if it's on the go on Steam Deck, Steam Deck is not a very powerful device. This is just amazing. And now let's switch on with DLSS performance frame generation. For some reason it could go 2x. There's auto and 2x. I believe it's thinking that we're using 4000 series RTX card. But anyway, let's see our FPS and oh my god, we went to 70 FPS. And you know what? I can feel just slightly latency, teeny tiny latency. It's not a big deal. I mean like I can totally play it like this. When you're getting like 75, 70 FPS, then it is super smooth. Once it's 60, you will start feeling slightly more latency and most likely it will be still playable. But can you imagine getting this FPS in clear obscure? This is just madness and still looks good. Look at that. Okay, now we found our settings. Let's go and explore and see how much FPS we'll lose. So it's 73, I saw 65 for a second. And this area is a little bit more demanding, I believe, more lights. It looks just phenomenal. Wow, well done, Skyfall. And 769, nice. And so far, I'm very impressed. This is very good experience. Oh my god, and 74. Our GPU utilized only at 92%. I wish it would be 99%, but I believe we're using APU. In this case, it kind of splits the performance. Uh, so it's, if it's like 90%, that's good, actually. <laughs> you know what? Let's switch to medium graphic settings and DLSS balance this time. And also, frame gen will be on. I'm curious to see. Maybe it won't make much difference and image will be better. And 43, 46. Okay, we're going up. 68, 67. And I can feel slightly more latency. Just teeny tiny again. It's not a big deal. When it goes to like 60, it's a little bit more. Yep. But once it goes to 65 or more, then it is absolutely fine. And I'm the guy who's very latency sensitive. I cannot play GeForce Now games only because I was like, ah, oh, that's just latency. It's just annoying. But right now, when it goes to 65, I'm absolutely fine. And yeah, it jumps to 51. And I could totally feel like slight delay in controls. 57. And it looks good. But I would not play at <laughs> medium settings like this. You know what? Let's go back to DLSS performance and set it still the same. Medium settings, the frame gen is on. I'm curious, maybe this time it will be playable. And we're at 69, 66. Okay, okay, now it's, now it's better. I can totally tell. This is right now absolutely playable in my opinion. Latency is barely noticeable. Let's go to continent and see RFPS right there. I believe that is the most demanding place in the game. And we're getting 39. Okay, I can see frame gen is kicking on. And we at 59, 56. And yeah, here, a little bit more latency. But this area right now is absolutely fine for latency. It's like, I don't really mind. It is very smooth. What about water? I know water is very demanding in this game. 45 and more latency definitely we have. 45, 42. Oh my god, it just goes all over the place. Okay. But it is still playable. I can still play this game on a go. Picture quality is phenomenal. Let's just fly a little bit up. And during the fly... 63 69 so during the flies you you have more fps so once you'll swim your fps will drop a little bit more let's fly for this guy's mouth i wonder can you oh you can <laughs> that's funny right and yeah during fly it's absolutely fine 45 49 okay it's kind of goes more water you see the less fps you will get but it is absolutely playable still and you don't have to do much in this area just traveling and then fighting, <laughs> we'll check fighting later. Actually, I'm going to check with that dragon over there. <laughs> Steam Deck is low power device and I'm surprised how it can run this game right now. This is just marvelous optimization in my opinion. And remember, right now we're playing at medium graphic settings, not lowest, medium on Steam Deck. And we're getting this FPS, wow. And during the fight, we're getting 57, 61, 54, 51 FPS. It goes a little bit all over the place. But this is turn-based game, so you don't have to have like 120 FPS. And 
as you could see, I managed to hit all eight buttons right now. Yep, see? <laughs> it is absolutely playable in my opinion. Let's keep medium graphics settings, DLSS performance, but no frame gen right now. Pure performance. And without frame gen, it is 32, 30 FPS. It is still very playable, but I would prefer frame gen because latency is so unnoticeable in my opinion that I would that definitely play it like that. But remember, we're still playing at medium graphics settings. Let's switch on to uh, lowest graphics settings. DLSS performance, no frame gen. I wonder, will it perform better? And we're getting right now 36, 31, 35. We gain like 3 to 5 more FPS. And uh, I can't really tell any difference. Maybe slightly better, but this turn-based game, it looked good before. So it's hard to tell, to be honest. <laughs> So in the end, as you can see, Clear Obscure Expedition 33 is verified for Steam Deck and in my opinion, it is fully playable on Steam Deck right now. Of course, you're not gonna get pure 60 FPS performance, but Steam Deck is very low power device and for such performance, Unreal Engine 5 game, latest game, doesn't look like potato on lowest possible settings. I think this is a win-win in my opinion. So, have you played Claire Obscure Expedition 33 yet? If you played, did you like it? Write in the comments below what score would you give to this game. 8 out of 10. 10 out of 10, like it's a legendary game. Also, write in the comments below what was your favorite moment in the game. My personal was when Gustav said, for those who come after, and something happened. I'm not gonna tell, it's a spoiler. But yeah, that was my favorite moment. And on this note, subscribe like and i'll see you in next one bye